Hey guys, uh, the Retro Reseller coming back to you with another video. What I decided to do in this video is just give you some tips on how to make your listings stand out. So I'm going to go through the procedure of how I list an item. And uh, I don't know, the, the reason I'm doing this is to help other people out there. Uh, but if you see something along the way that I'm doing something, maybe going the long route on on listing, maybe you can help me out and drop me a comment. I uh, also wanted to let you know we are starting up a Facebook group and already we've had lots of activity over there. Uh, just a bunch of sellers helping each other out. So if you have any questions or anything like that, you can post those on there and each other we can help each other out there. Uh, you can go over there. It's Facebook Sellers United. So head over there. You can also follow the link in the description that I'm going to put with this video. So let's get started. Uh, I, As you can see right here, I'm on the web page of Garage Sale. This is a Mac-based um, software that I use. And the reason I use this software is because not only is it Mac-based and I use a Mac for everything. I mean, I'm an Apple geek when it comes to this. Yeah, I may fall for their marketing ploys, but uh, I still like the functionality and the ease of access of everything that they provide. But uh, if you look at this right here, license $39.99, the upgrade is $19.99, and I've already paid for that. So look at 50 bucks total. Uh, now for PC users out there, I'm not going to leave you out of this, but uh, a lot of the things I'm going to talk about, I'm just going to talk about a photo editing uh, program as well, um, and a uh, just a collage. It's actually like a collage builder. You can find a lot of this freeware with PC just by doing a simple Google search. Uh, now I did write down some things here. You can look at Turbo Lister, which is built in into eBay. It's an app that eBay uses. It's a really simple um, method of listing, and you can pop out a lot of listings really quickly with Turbo Lister. So check out that app and eBay. Just do some research on this. Octiva is another popular one. But if you look at this, Octiva, you're looking at a monthly plan. And you're getting image hosting. Yeah, you also get that with Garage Sale over here. You're getting image hosting. But a lot of this, I just have a t two terabyte hard drive. And it's an external wireless hard drive that I use to store all my photos. But they give you quite a bit of space here. Uh, frankly, I fill up a gig pretty quickly so I don't I need something bigger than that that's why I went to two terabyte but uh, you can list uh, you'll obviously want to start with the 1495 if you do any more than 100 listings a month uh, you can just take a look I'm not gonna break these down for time sake but 1995 a month for the top one obviously they're going to highlight that as the top pick because they want to get as, the, as much money out of you as possible I pay that flat rate of 50 bucks one time and I get it for life with garage sale but you can pay it for Octiva. Octiva is a very popular one. Another one is Crazy Lister. You can see this one too. It's a um, per month um, billing and the, the monthly billing is even more. If you submit to an annual billing that's your per month price uh, and then your monthly billing with just not a commitment is uh, this price right here and you can check this out like I said and see what all is offered but these are some of the top ones you can also check out ink frog ink frogs another one but you're still paying a monthly fee for that one as well well let me get to the basics of garage sale here I'm just showing you going through the process here of how I want everything to look I already have my payment options preloaded into it my shipping options preloaded into it just to give you an idea here uh, I'm charging $7 flat fee. Yes, I'm going to be paying more than that for shipping, but I want to offer as low of a discount, discounted shipping as possible. Uh, and then international, I do calculated, and I provide that, the measurements uh, right here. You can change that within the app. So if you're a Mac user, this is awesome software, and they just updated it, so they got out a lot of the bugs. So maybe if you tried it in the past, it didn't work well for you, try it again because they've updated quite a bit. Uh, global, I always click use global shipping program, and obviously I don't have any excluded locations. Uh, sh handling time, I want one day because I want to keep that top rated seller status. Uh, returns are accepted. You got to check that 30 day. If you didn't know that, you got to do 30 day, and I missed it right here. I got to put that. Um, making sure that everything is. I always do a 10% restocking fee. It's never come back to bite me yet. And usually if somebody's not satisfied, this kind of works as leverage on my side because I say, you know what, I'll waive the 10% restocking fee. And they feel kind of appeased by that. 
So, um, and you could also build profiles here, um, return profiles, payment profiles. I don't use any of those. I just go with the basic setup and then I build over here templates, as you can see, my templates. Um, now, I always, first I'll load up my um, photos and the way I do this, don't get too confused here. What I'm doing is just my basic stuff. Um, I'm not giving a how-to on how to use garage sale right now. Uh, but I may do that in the future, I don't know. I've preloaded this to be accessible on my desktop for right now, but uh, these are my photos I'm gonna be using. But I'm also going to kind of take these photos and, and as you can see right here is a duplicate, so I'm gonna just delete that one. Um, I'm gonna go over here to Photor, you can see it right here, Photor photo editor this is on the app store if you have a Mac uh, like I said if you have a PC sorry you kinda of feel a little left out in this go ahead and do a web search for photo editing or collage software and you can download some freeware with that just be careful where you download from make sure you're downloading from the source and not from some suspect website to where you can get viruses that's why I love Mac very rare that you would get errors and and viruses, they're not susceptible to viruses. So I'm gonna add these photos that I wanna work with, this Armani Blazer, they're deep, buried deep is into my folders here. As you can see, I sort everything out and label them so they're easy to find photos. Um, already right off the bat, I got a photo that's needing flipped. So these are gonna load up, and what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna build a collage, something that's eye-catching for the buyer. Um, we can flip that around. I'll zoom up in a little bit. This is a navy blue. I thought it was actually a uh, um, black in certain lighting. And then let's actually put this one up here. Armani. And uh, I think I like this one a little more. I'm just going to do a little bit of a zoom effect on this. Let's do it this way, it looks a little more. There we go. Just wanna make it look as eye-catching and popping as possible. You can also adjust the coloring on the border. Let's go ahead and pull a color out of the middle here, that red. It's more of like a pinkish red. Let me see if I can find that. There we go, something like that. And uh, you can also choose those as your borders as well. Let's make the width of it a little bit wider and the corners rounded. Uh, yeah, good shadow effect there too. I don't know, be, be creative with it. You wanna export it, choose the folder you wanna throw it in. I'm gonna go on my desktop, find my folder that I created earlier, and I'll just name it A1, because I'm just want to go as quickly as possible here for sake of time. Uh, so I'm done with that, I'll just minimize that, and then I'll come over here and throw that image right into the mix a1 there it is throw it on really quick this works really fast I want to make that my first photo I should have done that but I'll, what I'll do is I'll just drag this over if I went all the way over here it would just pull that photo and replace it so I want that photo over here as my second one there we go so that'll be my initial photo what I'm gonna do I'm gonna start this out at 79.99 now it may go for that, it may not. I'm just going to let it sit for that for a while. It is in great use condition, so I'm going to leave it there. Uh, just bear with me. I may zoom through this and the video. Now I come up here and work on my title. I always build that from scratch. Some people just like to go and bring over an old listing. I used to do that all the time, but I found I found out that this is a more efficient way, and I'm getting a lot more traffic if you just create your own um, title. We'll come back to that. If need be, I always put features on here. It's a three button closure. Uh, no vent from my recollection. Yeah, no vent. Features, no vent. 
Um, four, let me check the cuff, is a three button uh, cuff, navy blue. I'll put dark here too. Dark navy blue does not come with the tie, shirt, or mannequin, obviously. I'm going to take out the MSRP because it's not any tags. Let me check that. Pre owned, yep. Um, Stafford. Nope. It's Armani. Dark navy blue. I realize I'm being redundant here, but you want to put as much information in here as possible. I've got my. It's actually 22 already. Got my measurements written down. 30 is the measurement there. Shoulder seam to sleeve end. 24 short sleeves here. Shoulders at widest point. 20.5. Oops, definitely not 205 inches. That would be weird. Waist laid flat, 20.25. I do it in derivatives of quarter inches. Um, great use condition, as I said before. Um, there's really nothing wrong with it. Um, let me just double check, make sure all these pictures. That one's a little dark for my liking. I wonder if I can edit this one. Don't want to crop it. I'm going to bring up some brightness. Nope, that's not going to do what I want it to do. I don't know, maybe it'll help it a little bit. Yeah, it did okay. Um, let me see, is there anything else? I have all my default stuff in here. Um, blah, 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 blah. I think that just about does it. Let me make sure everything's here in the title. Armani, Glezioni, three button, men's navy blue blazer, uh, Italy, 40 regular. You know, sometimes less is more in the title, so if I need to edit it, I can always come back later and throw more stuff in there. So, let me go ahead and start this one. I'm just double checking. Yep, $79.99 is a good price. I'll start it there. Go ahead and hit start listing, and then it should give you a finalized view of the actual listing. This kind of works as a browser once you finish your listing. As you can see, I've built a bunch of different templates over here, and that's what's awesome about this setup. It works so quickly. One more thing before I go. Uh, I had actually finished the video, I went to edit it, and I remembered I was going to mention one more thing, so I'm kind of throwing this into the last part of the video. This is one of the big reasons why I love a software like this. Now, you can see right here, I forgot this, I get it, I'm going to fix that later on. I can just put in there whatever I want, uh, I'll just put edit later for now, but uh, that's weird. Uh, but I wanted to uh, show you what these things look like. You see, whenever I edit this, this is one of the bugs in this. Whenever I edit this, it edits the top as well. But uh, I wanted to show you the preloaded uh, designs that come with this. So you can choose images on top, first image on top, the rest of the images would be on the bottom. Uh, you can choose images at the bottom. Um, you can choose no images, a hover gallery, which means it pops up whatever you're hovering over, which is really nice to have. I've used that one on a couple of them. I use Anthracite as my default one, uh, but you can also use a bunch of these other ones. Some of these are super cheesy, but I think eBay's is, can't be more, much more cheesier than eBay. Uh, antique, if you're selling antiques, um, I mean, like I said, pretty cheesy. I mean, I'm a graphic designer, so some of the stuff is just like graphic throw up, but um, I don't know. I'm just kind of going through these. That one's pretty cool. kind of goes opaque over into the dark there. Um, celebration. Uh, it has a gray border. You can do a bunch of like a green 
I'm showing you all these things. Jewel case for DVD if you sell media like that. Nebula, I've used that one. That one looks very Mac. Um, I mean, look how many there are. Pro Design, I have Pro, so it would let me do that. Um, I mean, this one's pretty cool. So those are just some things. These are the eye-catching things that your buyers will look at. Um, so I challenge you, I want to encourage you to look into this. See if this was something that would um, spark your interest. And Octiva has the templates. Um, Inkfrog has templates. Crazy Lister has template, templates. And so use those to your advantage. And just like that, it is good to go. So that's all it takes. If you have any questions, post those in the comments and uh, give me some ideas on tips that maybe you have to expedite things. I went a little bit slower than usual on this one just because I wanted to take the time to show you the process here, but all in all, it takes me about five minutes to list an item on average. Well, happy selling to you and may God bless you and your business.